Hey, cousins. Hey, we back at it again. And of course, you know, we got to start off at Target. So are we going to go ahead and watch through what they don't have? We're going to go ahead and grab some of these poly bags, but check it. I know the vlog, mini vlog was supposed to drop at 10 a.m., but I ran into some complications. You know, life start doing what life do. So instead, I'll say, well, I'll be dropping the vlogs on Saturdays. I'm not going to give any specific time. I'm just going to say Saturdays. And I'll say between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Boom, there it is. Maybe that's not even right. Maybe we'll just stick to Saturdays. Yeah, let's stick to Saturday. I don't think there was anything specific I was looking for, to be completely honest. I know I did grab a few things. Um, mostly, I'm just looking for stuff that's on sale or some sets that I didn't get yet um, from last year. But for the most part, I, I have a couple of the sets that I've already wanted. The other sets I'm just waiting on. I did grab that little guy right there, of course. But um, yeah, everything else. Like I also like the space. So the Lego space, that new, the new one is coming out. The Lego space. I love that. And I love the fact that they have a classic set with that. Like not only do they have the regular sets, but they have classic as well. And I think that is so dope. The pricing on is a little wonky. You know, I think Lego is doing the most right now with these prices, but ain't nothing you can do about it. My thing is, can we just get a golden brick? Can every VIP person that's awesome, like myself and all of y'all great folk, get a golden brick? That's all I want. I have to catch up on Lego Masters. I'm on season four. Finally got this. No, I'm not. I'm on season three. So I don't know how it is with everyone else, but I can tell you how it is with me. So when I um, watch Lego Masters, I get so excited. Like a, I'm like a little girl, a little Girl Scout getting her first badge. I couldn't get my life together. And I had to give myself a couple days between episodes in order to watch the next one because I get so excited. I don't know what it is. I really got to look into that. I might need counseling, y'all. I also know that I need, um, I, I do need a, a Lego rehab because it's really getting out of control. But look at this. So Walmart, I think, figured it out, y'all. So I go to Walmart whenever I want. Well, I go to Walmart, whenever I go to Walmart, I always check in the clearance aisle because they normally have really good prices when it comes to their clearance Lego. But I think... For the most part, they're starting to figure it out. So there is a couple people that I watch on YouTube from time to time who go to Target, um, Walmart and other places in a clearance aisle, purchase stuff and then resell them on eBay or online. And I think that their videos is really getting back to Walmart and they're trying to figure it out because right now. The only good deals for real, for real that I got from um, Walmart on this day was that classic monkey set. I don't know even if that's the name of it, but a lot of these sets right here, I know that I'm going to be able to get cheaper even when um, even even if I have to go to a, a, a different Walmart in another state since I travel between. Pennsylvania. I live in Pennsylvania, travel between Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, um, and Jersey. I'll be able to find another set that's going to be cheaper, but yeah. Anywho, and here we go with these boxes. So they got one set of boxes here and a new set of boxes here. And of course I went ahead. I think I only grabbed, yeah, I only grabbed one because I went back and grabbed all of the rest of that classic monkey set. At first I only grabbed like three, but then I was like, they have six there. There's no reason to leave the other three behind. Anyway, so I grabbed them because, you know, they were only $3. Couldn't beat it. So it seems like I was maybe at this register for quite a long time. Because I was. Because why did the security guards come and stand next to me? So, you know, me and him had a conversation trying to figure out why he was standing next to me. I don't like it. They insinuate too much. And what do I do? Go to a second Walmart. A glutton for punishment, I tell you. A glutton for punishment. And that second Walmart just wasn't given what it was supposed to give for a clearance aisle. I mean, they have, of course, some Lego sets, but their sets really aren't priced like that. Not priced like they were before. So like I said, I think they caught on. 
So you gotta keep an eye out, y'all. Keep an eye out for them good old deals. And of course, come here, and I'll make sure I get you, find you those steals and deals, baby. I'm not saying that they're not bad. They're not good, because they are good. Any discount's a good discount. But at the end of the day, I know I can save more than $20 or $15 on a, um, a dream set. So I'll just wait until I can get the dream set for a tad bit cheaper. I'm just trying to conserve, trying to do better financially. But it's so hard when these new Lego sets, I get so excited. So then I went to the Cherry Hill Mall over in New Jersey because I found out that there was something there that I didn't know, which was a da -da -da Lego store. Yeah, I held my phone the wrong way. I'll do better next time. Don't sweat the small stuff. Isn't this guy cute? And here's the pick a brick wall. Funny thing, right? Cherry Hill, New Jersey, they're my new cousins. So they're our new cousins. They had a shipment come in. So me and another guy who was there was waiting for the shipment. I went ahead and started doing my boxes already, but then I found out that they weren't going to put out the masonry bricks until the next day. I live in Philly. They're over in Jersey. I'm not fitting to keep going back and forth across the bridge, so I'll just have to wait until the next time I get there. So these are some of the items that I went ahead and purchased. I did finally get the camera and a couple other things. So, so I've got the camera. Now, I do want to get two more because I want to build all three of those and leave them up i really enjoy the way this looks and i can't wait to build it and of course the full build is going to be on youtube right here and then i got the hedgehog picnic date and i figured i'd get that because valentine's day is coming up i got the dots and i got those on a low low so i made sure i got those i got three of those and if i'm not mistaken they were two dollars a piece um walmart has them on clearance so I snatch them up every time I can see a couple pieces. So I went ahead and got two more boxes and of mini figs. Awesome. Swipe those away and then boom. So it is a lot easier. And you'll get a lot more if you stack these bricks. Those bricks are already stacked. Um, Lego, uh, the Lego employees already had those stacked up. So I just went ahead and grabbed those and went on about my merry way. Look at that, passports. I have waited so long trying to find these darn passports and finally got them. And you know, our new cousin went ahead and made sure I had two. So he went ahead and stamped this one, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And the other one's plain. To, um, so when I run, um, when I fill this one up, I can go ahead and automatically start the second one and start looking for a new passport because it seemed like for some reason they're hard to come by these days. Isn't that nice? Look at that gold shining like that. Shine. It is shining. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. The Lego City Space Set. Oh my God, it's so dope. And of course, I got the poly bags and more poly bags and more poly bags. Yeah. And then boom, I found the castle. Now, this is the only poly bag I was able to find of this Harry Potter castle. And I want to find more. So here's the pick a brick wall. Don't judge me, judge your mama, okay? If you hear purring, sorry, it's my cat. He just wanna say hi. His name is Bandit, say hi, Bandit. Okay, maybe not. So um, I did get some, some leaves, different ones, some flowers, leaves, whatever you wanna call them. I don't know what they're called, but I think they're pretty, lilac and green, so I went ahead and decked that out. So. I got a few handfuls of both, uh, but one thing I can say, so I found out something really, very, very important. The uh, importance of the pick-a-brick wall in these boxes. We can get more in these boxes than we can in the cups, but that's only if you stack them properly. Now, this one, I didn't do too bad in. Um, I still had an overflow in my cup, I actually filled my cup plus one of the small ones um, with this particular box. Now, when I go to the other box, you'll fully understand exactly where I'm coming from with it. I think this whole thing is by design. I mean, not, not a bad way, actually a good way. When it comes down to it, they're getting rid of plastic bags to help out with the environment and 
Lego got rid of plastic cups. It's a win-win, if you ask me. I wish they had baggies, like separators, where I was able to separate it, but I just don't want to take too much space away from uh, where I could actually put bricks. But if you haven't noticed, man, my boxes was pretty loaded. Um, cousin went ahead and took out some of the pieces and just put them inside the bag, so that way he was able to close the box. I'm gonna do better next time. I got overly excited. I went there for the masonry bricks thinking that I wasn't gonna have no problem getting them because I wanna do something special for Valentine's Day. Problem is I ain't got the bricks for it now. So there's that. I'm gonna work on something anyway. So maybe a little shoddy, but you know, give us just a break, okay? Let's just a break. I'm gonna do what I can, all right? Sheesh. So I did make sure I got some gold leaves and I got some brown stems. That's what's on the bottom of this box, okay? I was not playing. I know that there was one creator that said, whenever you see leaves, make sure you fill up a container with them. So ever since he said that, I thought about it because I do want to do woods. Um, like I live right across from a, a, a wildlife reserve and I wanted to do a model of a walk, our wildlife reserve out here in Philadelphia. I think personally would be pretty epic if you ask me. So although the gold leaves and all the rest of the leaves are all is going to be needed for my wildlife reserve type of model, what am I going to use the gold leaf for that I can't use the orange ones for? It's so weird. Maybe I'll do like a money tree. That would be dope. I don't know. How do you guys like the vlog so far? A little commentary, a little talky talk. Little leave it in the comments, a little shut on throat, along with our Lego stuff. Then again, if we can figure out the ages of everyone who actually watched the vlog, I can have a certain topic while I go through the situation. Because at the end of the day, um, I don't think that I will ever record and talk at the same time. Because again, I live in Philadelphia and I keep my head on the swivel and I don't have anything in my ears. I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Hence the reason why the phone moves so much. Now, as I got to the bottom of this box, I'm sitting there looking at it like, where did these red pieces come from? I have no clue at all where the red pieces came from, but I had, you know, a nice little chunk of them. Not a whole bunch, but I did have a chunk of them. So I went ahead. I did end up separating these later. I didn't uh, separate them right away because I wanted to show you guys something from the other box. Yay, yay. As soon as I can get the box open. Open the box. Open the box. Okay. But my cat's snoring. All right. So I added the, there was flowers in here too. The purple, the lilac. Um, I put some in here also. Um, just to make sure it was filled up. You know, trying to get my dollars worth. Trying to get the bang from a buck, even though the passports kind of was the bang for the whole travel, the, the, the gas and tolls. <laughs> it was totally worth it. And I can say I will go back, but now I know exactly where to park. So that way I don't park all the way on the other end of the mall because whew, all that for some Lego. I'll do it again. Bop, bop. Do it again. Bop, bop, bop. At some point, I'm going to get to. There we go. There we go. All right. Get them big paws up in there. All right. So remember when I said it is best if you're able to um, to stack stack your pieces. So I was looking at Jordan, of course, from Brixie. I don't know why I like this guy so much, but I do. He's like my cousin and don't know him. So I tried to stack. And this is as far as I got. Look at that. As far as I got. I have ADD and I just, that took me 15 minutes by itself because I was all over the place. So I don't know if this box is going to be beneficial for me or if it will be beneficial for me to purchase the pick of bricks from someone else. Let them get the points. At least that way I get the bank for my buck because this whole standing there stacking bit. Yeah, it was no way, no way, no way, no way. I'm going to have to cut that out. But still, no way. Look at all them pieces. I got the two by four. What is it, flat? Plates? Two by four. Two by four plates. It don't matter. 
The whole point was, well, nobody going to sit there and stack all that. And listen, y'all go in there and stack all that. I, I, I commend y'all. My bride's off to you. I just don't have the patience for it, unfortunately. But I got some really nice pieces in here. So, of course, there's no complaint at all. I got some bricks. I got some flat plates. I got some of those little claw things. Not really sure. Funny thing, I don't really know what the name of the piece is for real, for real. I just give them their own names. And I like the names that I give them. So, that's kind of how I roll. At some point, I guess I should learn. So, that way, you know, when I'm, you know, at some point, I know I need to learn um, the name of the pieces. Because, um, honestly, it's the first time we've been inside of a Lego community. I didn't even know there was such a thing. And I'm so upset that I didn't notice that prior to today. Well, prior to when I found out uh, a few months ago. But, anywho, they said the sticker has to be able to close in order for you to, in order for them to, um, in order for them to close the box or in order for them to sell it to you, this, it has to be, it has to be able to close. Well, here is my fruits of my spoils. See that? Look at that. I don't know where they came from, but they were in there. I'm appreciative. So this is everything that I got that day at the Cherry Hill Mall. Again, I am not mad at it at all. I did get two boxes. Um, so it, it was worth it. Is that little, those little red flowers, it's just, and even the white bricks, I'm not really sure where they even came from. I have no clue, but, and I appreciate the gentleman for putting those together. Thank you, cousin. Good looking. Thank you. Thank you very much. Then it gets down to the bare knuckle. I'm going to go ahead and sort out these uh, classic sets right here. <clears throat> Since I got six of them for $3 a pop, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, of course, I got to make sure I take a picture of that, that code down there so I can get my 20 points. Let's do it. Let's get them VIP points, baby. It's just a lot of pieces at this point. But the majority of them are repetitive, which is great. And it's just more like, you know, I separated at one point by um, by the type of brick it was. Yeah, I, I put all the same pieces together. Unless I'm in a rush, then I put all like-minded pieces together. Um, all fruits and trees and stuff like that would go together. Leaves would all go together. And all flats would go together. All bricks would go together like that. But in this case, I didn't actually do that with this particular one. So I went ahead and literally broke them down like Julie Brown. Well, cousins, it's a wrap for this week's vlog. Sorry I had to upload it late, but we made it. Okay, I'm going to try to do better again next week. And it's I have to get into the groove of things in order for you to make sure that they come out perfectly. So once again, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Tell them to come over here and hang out with us. Let's get this conversation popping. Hey, cousins. If y'all know like I know, it took me forever to get these passports. Finally got it, so I had to take it out. You just wait until I add color to it. Look, I got the golden ticket. Look at the golden ticket. Yeah.